Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I am going to tell you how we can use shape tool and its properties efficiently. Now, uh, most of the people who use shape tool, they don't use all the properties. But uh, if we use all the properties, we can do better things and with better efficiency. So let's get started. So first of all, I will draw a rectangle. You can always use ready-made tools or you can always draw new tools using pen tool or any other tool that you wish or that you prefer but in this case i am going to draw a rectangle you can choose any shape that you want now if you go to shape tool the shortcut key for f uh, the shape tool is f10 now first firstly this is a ready-made shape so we need to convert this to curve so i will right click and convert this or you can press ctrl q or if you are using mac then command q to convert this into a curve now this is a totally separate shape so we can use or change any node individually or we can move any node individually so now most of the people use these basic properties but we have so many properties that can be very useful and that can be very productive now if we click on any of the nodes i will zoom it a little bit we have all these properties over here now these two properties most of the people use these two properties convert to line and convert to curve but these three properties are so many people use it but on the other hand so many people don't use these properties but these are very uh, productive properties they, these can be useful so let's say first of all we will start with these basic properties so these are now straight lines all the points are straight lines so we can change them one by one or we can change them together we can select them or we can simply press click on any of the nodes these are these points are called as nodes in coral raw terms so click on any of the nodes and you can simply select like this or you can click on any of the nodes and press ctrl a or command a it will do the same thing whatever way you prefer now let's say if you want to convert all the nodes into curve so these are already lines so we can convert them into curves so curves now we can change them and as you can see they are all converted into curves again if you want to revert this we can again select this and convert all the points into line all the points which are called as nodes and if you want to change them one by one select the specific node that you want to convert and click on the convert to line tool as soon as you convert the convert it to curve you can see these handles these handles i will convert this also this so we have this as curve this as curve and we have two lines now if you look carefully only one side of the node is moving at a time at a single time only one part of the curve is moving using the handle if we use the handle only one side of the curve node is moving this side is not attached or connected to this handle but what if we want to uh, change them together then we can simply use this option over here this property smooth node so we can change both sides of the both sides of the nodes together like this like this but if you see these are the two sides are connected but they are not symmetrical as you can see they are not symmetrical like this so if you want both the sides symmetrical you can choose the next option called as symmetrical node pretty much self explanatory like this these are now symmetrical as you can see if i move like this this will also do the same thing so this is symmetrical and if you don't want symmetry then you can again choose smooth node so what is the difference between these two properties both the both the properties work on both the sides but one is symmetrical and one is asymmetrical that is the only difference but 
they both affect uh, both sides of the node but what if we want to change only one side of the node then we can choose this particular property called as cusp node so using this property we can only change the one side of the node and other side of other side of the node separately so these are very useful properties let's say if you want to create a complex logo or any shape any general shape for that matter you can change it using these properties so shape tool is very important and as we all know shape tool along with the pick tool is the most one of the most used tools in corel draw so this is cusp node if you want again both the sides together then smooth node and if you want symmetry then you can choose symmetrical node this is the thing and you can use this on any shape for example i have only created a rectangle this is applicable to any shape that you create in corel draw so this is how it goes now let's say if you want to break this node you can use this property right over here where it is this break curve so it will break the curve so this path path is now open this is not closed and if we click on any of the node and we choose if we choose this option close curve then it will close the curve i will show you once again break so since this is not an closed path it will the color won't be applied the fill color and if you want to close it you can simply click over here we have we need to select only one node and there is another option if we select both the nodes then we can use this option extend curve this so there are few other properties but these properties are very useful these are the properties that that are most used and these are very useful to increase our efficiency and productivity using these properties we can create any shape that we want in corel draw especially for logos or any shape in general so do remember to use all these properties to get better result in corel draw it is, they, these properties are already there so it is better to use them rather than to ignore them so do use these properties for better uh, productivity and more productivity and efficiency so i hope this video is useful for you and if you if you find this video useful then please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers